channel to all my new and old faces if you guys are not subscribed to my channel please make sure you guys are subscribing to my channel and hitting that little button beside the subscribe button to make sure you guys are notified each and every time I upload a new video um, I do appreciate all the love and support that I get here on my channel I love when you guys like my um, videos I love when you guys comment because I know that it makes it, like it reassures me that you guys are liking what I put out and I hope that you guys really do like what I um, put out because y'all this stuff takes time this takes time when I'm trying to get my life together trying to get this face snatched trying to get you know everything looking cute and glam for you guys you know I, I do my best I really try to do my best and yeah so I really you know I really appreciate all the love and support that I get once I hit 1k on my channel I want to do a giveaway so tell a friend to tell a friend share my videos continue to like and comment and also don't forget to subscribe y'all Hit that bell before y'all are, um, well, that button before you guys are leaving. Make sure y'all hit that button. So, yes, um, this here, this bomb here that I got on my hair right now is my first wig that I made, you guys. I made this wig myself, and I'm so proud of myself because I, I didn't ever think I was going to make myself a wig. I just went natural because I've been transitioning for the past, like, couple of months, almost 10 months I was transitioning. So, I decided to go ahead and chop my hair off. So now I got a little afro going on. So I want to start bringing you guys more hair videos, whether if it's like weave or my natural hair. So yes, we are going to get into that. Um, if you guys want to know, I will. Um, well, I'm gonna leave it in the um, description box anyways. The specs on this hair. If you guys want to review on this hair, also let me know down in the comment section as well. But this is not what this video is about. We're um, I'm doing. I did this look using the Juvia's Place Dupe and 3 palette. It's the Cruel palette. You guys know that I tend to do these uh, videos on my channel with, with the um, with these palettes. It's a newer palette that just came out with a couple months ago. I know I'm late. I'm gonna do it anyway. So, yes, this palette um, has some pretty shades in here. It has a couple of silvers. So I wanted to do some browns because, you know, I can, you know, can never go wrong with the neutral look and, you know, although I do colorful looks and stuff, I love doing my neutral looks and I just did some glitter at the bottom, some chunky glitter from this, the company that I work with, Glit Cosmetics, as always, I always put that um, code down in the description box as well so you guys can just save some points. So yes, we gonna get into this video, it's enough rambling and, you know, talking and yeah, I hope you guys like the look. Don't leave here without hitting that subscribe button. I'm not playing with y'all. <laughs> so I hope I really hope you guys enjoy the look though. So I'll see you guys in my next one. Mwah. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I'm going to be using mostly this Juvia's Place Nubian 3 palette in the, I guess the name of it is called Coral. And this palette doesn't have any names like the other palette. So the first shade I'm going to be taking is this warm dark brown shade and I'm using that for my first crease color. Now I'm taking this light brown shade in that same palette and I'm going to use that to blend out that darker brown color. Now I'm going to go into the Sahara and Sue palette and I'm going to take these two shades and I'm just going to warm up my eyes just a little bit more. I was only trying to use the Nubian 3 palette but of course I had to dip in that palette and another palette that's coming up. Going to the 39A palette I'm taking this deeper brown shade in, in the shade called this this is deeper brown color and it's called expression you guys know that i cannot talk so yes just bear with me um 
I didn't show this clip of me using a little bit of black, but I did use a little bit of black just to further deepen up the look. Now I'm using the same darker brown shade that I used the first time, and I'm going to put that on the outermost portion of my eyelid. We're doing an ombre, so um, this look is going to be gradually, gradually um, going into two other colors, if that makes sense. So I'm going to be using that same light brown shade. I'm going to put that on the center portions of my eye. Not trying to go too, like, in the, like, I guess the beginning beginning area of my eye look and I'm just taking my brush and diffusing the lines into each other because when when you're using like a, when you're trying to do an ombre look you want the lines to like gradually diffuse into each other you don't want it to look crazy or whatever so the next shade I'm using is this light is this light peach brown color and I'm going to put that on the inner portions of my eye Just blending it out some more. This palette was really pretty, you guys. Easy to blend, very pigmented. It's pretty, pretty neutral palette. You cannot go wrong with it. I went ahead and lined my eyes. And now I'm using this, um, taking these bomb lashes from I Envy by Kiss. And I'm I, that's the lashes that I use for this look. Now I'm taking my Holy Grail foundation, the Maybelline Superstay foundation in the shade Deep Bronze. And I'm going to be using that as my foundation for this look. Yeah, I don't know what I was watching. I really don't know what I was watching because I keep looking up. I don't remember. I, was, I think I was actually watching YouTube videos when I was doing this. Now I'm taking my Real Technique sponge and I'm going to blend out my foundation so it looks seamless. Now I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Mahogany and I'm going to use that to do my base for my contour. Now you guys are going to see that I actually take an eyeshadow and I use that to set my contour. It's just what's work for me. It's like the darkest shade I can go and I'm not about to spend $30, $45 trying to get like this perfect contour powder. I'm going to go ahead and use this nice little brown shade that's in this palette. It's the Juvia's Place Nubian 2 palette and the shade is called Kenya and that's what I use to set my contoured areas. Now I'm going to take my Makeup Revolution um, foundation in the color F13 and I'm going to use that as my highlighter like I always do. This is the um, this is what I've been using for the longest for my highlights. Just the perfect like shade. It's natural but it still looks lifted underneath my eyes. It's, just, it's the perfect look. So that's the foundation I've been using for my highlight. And I'm going to be taking uh, Odie But Goodie, the Sasha Buttercup powder and that's what I'm going to use to set my highlighted areas. I think I would a, a little heavy handed with the powder because after I was done, it left like a yellow cast under my eye. But oh well, on to the next product. <laughs> now I'm going to be using my Black Radiance True Complexion Loose Powder in the shade Coco Kisses. And I have really been loving this powder, you guys. This powder gives me like this bronzy finish. And it's just, I don't know, it just melts everything together. It's just a really nice powder. Now I'm taking my dual lash adhesive and I'm going to be using this for my chunky glitter liner at the bottom. Now I'm going to zoom in so you guys can actually see how um, to apply chunky glitter on the bottom and how I actually do it. So I'm taking this tropical, um, I think it's called Tropical Lamb by Glit Cosmetique. It's a cosmetic line that I'm affiliated with. And so yes, when you're doing this, you want to take your time and put the chunky glitter on your lower lash line taking your time and making sure that you're not getting the glitter in your eyes because it can cause severe irritation trust me I've, it's happened to me before i actually got a sty it was horrible so just make sure you guys are being careful when putting chunky glitter on the bottom on your lash in fact if you're using any glitter just make sure that you're not getting any glitter into your eyes and now I'm taking my sleek makeup blush um, in the shade Coral, and I'm going to use that for my blush. Now 
Now, I'm going to be setting my face with my Mario Bedeskin Setting Spray. And the highlight I'm going to be using is been has actually been my go-to highlighter for these past couple um, looks. It's the Crown Case Honor Roll Highlighter. And I just love the highlighter, you guys. I had to zoom in so you guys could actually see the glow to see what this highlighter actually do for my skin and my complexion. This highlighter is bomb. I feel like every woman of color should have this highlighter because it's beautiful. Look at that glow, you guys. Look at that glow. Now, I don't know what happened to my lighting. Well, we're just going to continue with this video. Um, I'm using my Morphe Lip Liner in the shade Richie. And I'm going to use that just to outline the outer portions of my lips. And for the lipstick, I use the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in the color Lazy. No, it's not Lazy Daisy. It's called Let's Cuddle. It's like a pretty, um, a pretty natural light brown shade. And I just used my Cryon Case Clean Kisses Lip Gloss to top that off. Now I'm going to zoom into my face so you guys can actually see how I do my beauty marks. I use my Wet n Wild eyeliner for these beauty marks. So I like to put one on top of my right uh, lip. And the other ones are usually on the high cheeks of my, um, on the left side of my face, right underneath my eye. And lately I've been putting one on my chin on the left side. And so that's it for you. This That is it for this video, you guys. I hope you guys like the look. Everything, as usual, will always be listed down in the description box. Please do not leave here with that hitting that subscribe button, commenting, and liking the video. And I will see you guys in my next video.